Hello, this is the second video I've made, I'm making in a, a short series showing you how to use this template that I've made. Um, th this is how far we've got in the first video. We've added this text, the big headline, and the paragraphs, and that uh, subheading there. Now we're going to add some more stuff, but first of all, I want to make sure you know where to get the template from. So, if you type this into your browser, uh, that will take you to the place to download it from. It's at a website called github.com and it's it's my bit of that website which is philipgledhill.github.com then a slash simple hyphen site and when you go there you will see a page like this and all you do is just click that zip button there and it'll download it for you. Um, just save it to your desktop or wherever so let's get back to business this is what we've got so far and we want to add some some more stuff to it so what we're we going to do this is the html page the this this is the home page this one is index html where most websites the the home page is called index html right so this is this is the home page in a text editor this is the html that makes it work so what we want to do first of all we want to find the bit of the page we're going to edit so if we search for web page because I put some comments in to make it easy to find so if you search for web page you'll see this web page content ends here now then, that's the bottom bit we want the top bit web page content beneath this line web page content starts here so we've already put this in that's the headline them two paragraphs and now we're going to put some more stuff in so first of all we're going to put an image in this is a paragraph that that uh, tag there tells you that this will the computer will see this as a paragraph so we want to put an image in here so how are we going to do it right let's see right this this is a, a tag that makes the image work so it's image source and you've got to put the the place where the image comes from there that the location of the image then width you tell you tell it how wide the image is and how high it is this alt is so that um, it's, it's alternative text so that if, if your picture if your image doesn't show or if someone's partially sighted and they use a, a screen reader uh, they'll be able to hear the text that you type in there but what, what we're doing first is getting the really basics right so we need an image we need the source of the image and we're going to put it in the images folder the image we're going to use is called dog it's a picture of a dog so it's it's in the images folder and the image is called dog jpeg if you're supposing you had a cat picture and you put it in the images folder you could call it cat jpeg and you'd have to type in here that the width how wide the image is and how high the image is so that's all you need to do put it in the images folder and then put uh, t type the name of the file there when you've done that we can copy this I'm going to paste it into our web page uh, HTML so this one index HTML so we want to put that image just after that paragraph tag there paste it in click save now we'll go back to our web page and see if we're hoping that a, a dog picture is going to appear here let's try and see what happens oh there it is right so we put the dog picture in what shall we do next or oh, block quote I like block quotes what we'll do first underneath the dog we'll put a horizontal ruler stripe across there and then we'll put a block a block quote is just it's just ordinary text but it just it's formatted in a, a, a nicer way so we'll put a horizontal rule under there then a block quote with some more text in so we'll need some text we'll copy some of this text so we don't have to type it all out right let's go back to our right so we're going to use this here a block th this tag is 
these are HTML tags and they tell your computer how to display things so block quote is just a a, a fancy paragraph really so it puts text in there where it says paragraph the text we've just copied so now we've got the block quote tags and the paragraph tags and our text so all we need to do is paste that into our page so I'll go to index.html in the text editor and paste it in now if we look at that we'll save it now that's ok it's, it's, this is a block quote but we want some horizontal rules just to separate it off a bit to make it look a bit nicer and that's easy to do so all we need to do just before the block quote starts there all you need to type in is an angle make a bit of space so you can see an angle bracket and then HR then close the angle back angle bracket it's just that simple click that save and we'll see what that looks like what we want is a stripe to come across here there we go a little stripe across the page and we'll put one underneath as well so it's completely sort of sectioned off there so underneath the bottom block quote just angle bracket HR angle bracket and then save there we go it's got one above and one below right now what shall we do next right I'll show you how to put a link in the page because it's something you probably at some point you're going to want to do all you need to do to, to put a link in your page is this this bit here it says ahref that means anchor hypertext reference and you just put in there the actual link so this one's google so all you need to do if you go to google we'll go to google and you can see um, right so when you go to google at the top of your screen here you've got this um, url this is the, your domain and name so all you do is just copy it go to, go to the website you want to go to we're just making a link for Google so I'll go there highlight it like that copy it and then back in your text editor you just need to in that ahref all you do you paste it in so you've got there anchor ahref with the link that's the link there that we're going to, it will take you to when uh, when it's clicked and then between these two little brackets there th this closes it in all most not all tags but nearly all HTML tags they've got that little um, slash there and that's the closing tag so you've got an opening tag it's easy to see on these you've got an opening tag and then the closing tag has this little slash there that's how you can tell it's a closing tag so all we need to do now is one we've made here with the Google text you put the text in there and it doesn't matter you'd have to say Google you could put um, teapots or <laughs> buckets or anything in there it doesn't make any difference the bit that makes it the link work is this bit here so we've got the link we've typed the text all we need to do now is paste that in wherever we want it in the web page so let's copy it we'll go to our index HTML and we're going to put that in the paragraph here so we just paste it in there so put a little bit of a gap there and we'll click save so that's the bottom paragraph should now have a link for Google let's see if it's worked somewhere it, oh I, I might have put it in there I can't remember where I put it now oh, that's where I put it, put it in there so if we click that it just takes us to Google right let's see got about four minutes left I'll show you how to do some um, a list right so if you wanted a list of items all you need to do is th these are tags the HTML tags and li means list this ul is an 
an unordered list, which is a bulleted list. You can have an ordered list, which goes number one, two, three, or an unordered list, which is just bullets. So we're going to have a bulleted list, and for each item on the list, you just need a pair of these tags. This list item and list item is just opening and closing tags, and the word goes in between there, in between the little angle brackets. So we'll put some. We've got a paragraph above it, so we'll just put uh, my list, shall we call it? And then in the uh, in each between each pair of list item tags, we'll put some words. Right, so all we need to do now is paste that into our page and we'll have a list. Right, so we'll put it underneath the block quote, paste it in, click save and see if it's worked. So refresh the page, oh and there's our list. Right. Well, I think that's, we've got about two minutes left. Really, I think what, what I'd really like to do is just to make sure you know how, um, what we're doing. Um, so basically, all these things are tags. And I, I made these videos for people who've never made a website before. I'm hoping that people will uh, just think to themselves, well, it's easier than I thought and that's why I've made this little template for you um, and just picked some easy tags that, that are useful and it will it'll, um, it'll just get you going, get you started making websites because once you get started it's um, you know you've got a bit of confidence to carry on anyway so all you need with everything all, all the stuff we've seen on the page so far between these tags H4 is a heading number 4 there's heading number 1 which is a big heading and then 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and heading number 6 is small heading number 1 is the biggest so and all you do is you only put a heading you just type your heading in there um, and th this list item there's just a, an opening tag and a closing tag. So this is the tag that opens it, this is the tag that closes it, and your word goes in the middle. Um, the, the, list, the list item ones go in a, um, an unordered list. So you've got to have an unordered list tag that opens and closes, and list items in between it. But that, that hopefully that'll get you started, so you can start having a go try just try it and see what you think I'll make a couple more videos to show you a few more things of how it works well I hope you found it useful and I do hope you give it a try so download the um, the, 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 the source files from this this site here I'll put this underneath the YouTube video I'll put a link to that so it's easier to, for you to find I'll have to go because I've only got a quarter of an hour of YouTube won't let me put the video on it's too long well thank you for watching and I do hope you pop back. Bye.